welcome to another episode of the Lone Recruiter Podcast. I'm your host, Brett Clementson, and if you're a recruiter out on your own, just lacking general advice or mentorship, you've come to the right place. Our episodes are designed to give you the motivation, the strategies, and the support you need to become the very best Lone Recruiter. So join us, grab a cup of coffee, let's take your desk to another level. Now, today's episode's actually completely uh, and, and utterly not my material, and... Um, and, what, and why I say this is a big shout out to Tom Etherington uh, in Sydney. Never met the guy before. He's in my feed in LinkedIn. And he had a remarkable post on LinkedIn yesterday and possibly not for the reason that he believes that post was intended for. Now, let me explain. His post says, there are 1,500 chief operating officers on LinkedIn. Now, what... What was special about that line is that chief was spelled C-H-E-I-F, not I-E-F. He also then went, then went on to say there are 250 managers and they have their job title as Manga, M-A-N-G-E-R. This is the breakdown. 23,000 sales mangas, 13,000 project, project mangas. Um, 9,500 general mangas, 4,000 managing, man, no, man, manging directors. You get the point. They're spelling manager wrong. Managers, manager. They're, they're calling it manga, right? M-A-N-G-E-R-S or M-A-N-G-I-N-G. Um, we've got 3,000 regional mangas, 2,000 HR mangas, right? And the list keeps going. Um, one of his article was, we want to, we want to, or the point of his post was that we want to make sure our profile hasn't got typos in it. And I hundred percent agree with that. I've even done posts on that in the, in the past, which is, you know, if you're on LinkedIn, it's, it's a CV that everyone can see. It's a profile, it's a pitch deck, it's everything, right? And a typo can be perceived as, 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 um, you know, not looking at the level of detail you need to, you know, rushing your work and that sort of stuff. We all know that ty- these things happen and typos happen, right? So why am I telling you this? It's not actually to go and check your LinkedIn. I know you're all looking at your LinkedIn right now going, far out of I put manga in my title. That's not the point of this episode. The point of this episode was that my immediate thought was, shit, yeah, that's a whole search string on uh, a LinkedIn project that I could throw in to see if there's any project mangas that I've missed in my search or any managers or mangas that I've missed within the markets that I'm looking for. My brain went to, if there are 250,000 people with this typo, surely some of them are in the markets that I recruit for and maybe I've missed them in my search strings because I assumed that people spell their titles correctly. Now, caveat, are they going to be the brightest stars in the room? Maybe not. My gut says no, but that's the perception. There's probably some amazing candidates who have just done a typo and completely brushed over or don't think too too much about their LinkedIn or whatever. But if it means that I haven't picked them up in a search string for a client, if I'm doing a project for a, for a brief and I'm missing a project manga because they've done a typo, well, sure as shit, I want to know about it. So that's my red hot tip for you today. If you're struggling to find candidates in your market, you're really scratching, scratching, go and, go and see if maybe there are typos that are common within some of the phrases that you're searching for. Maybe you need to go and put those typos in a, in a, um, in a search, see what comes up. You might be surprised. You may find a gem and you may be absolutely shocked. The thing is, if you find that gem, almost guarantee no one else is speaking to them because... They have not been picked up by other recruiters either. So that's my red hot tip for you today. Only a four minute episode, but it was a gem. I loved it. Thank you, Tom. Tom Etherington, go and follow him. He does great material. And um, we'll give him a shout out on this podcast. That's it. If you got anything out of this episode, please like, subscribe, share, helps us grow. Throw us a comment. And if you've got any questions, you've got any podcast ideas or questions that you have that you want us to answer on this podcast, please hit us up. Happy to, happy to, to put something together for you. Have an amazing day, and as always, may all your deals come true.